how much should you be eating while being on cycle? What's up everybody, it's the white boy from the yard back at it again with another video and today we are talking about how much should you be eating while being on cycle? First, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any form of medical degrees whatsoever. I don't pretend to be a doctor. Don't listen to what I say. This is my personal opinion how I see things and what it would do to my body. Always go to a doctor before using any form of supplementations. All right, so this is a question I've been asked multiple times, like daily. How much should you be eating while being on cycle? Well, as you can see in my face, my face is really bloated and puffy uh, which means i'm eating a lot a lot of food and that is while i'm on s23 right now so this is crazy all right um how much should you eat well it depends on a couple of things obviously i mean uh, is the goal bulking is the goal cutting uh, you want to shred down you want to gain more muscle you want to get lean yeah, get some lean mass whatever there are multiple things you just want to keep in mind all right so the thing is with food intake you need to speed up metabolism uh which the compounds you're using probably already doing but because of that because you have a fast metabolism you need to keep up with the food intake so me personally it's just eating every three hours all right so i eat a meal three hours later i eat another meal the key and the goal is always to be consistent so I, like i said i eat every three hours big ass meals uh 300 grams of rice 230 grams of chicken and some veggies at least some or some fruit you know you know when i started working out and dieting and whatsoever i was really focused on calories now if you're trying to gain weight you know it's not really important to focus on calories it's just speeding up metabolism eating every three hours which is really important trust me you will be eating a meal and you think like god damn i'm not even hungry how in hell i'm going to finish this meal well you take a couple of bites take a couple of sips of drink and it's gone right so uh three hours after that i'm hungry again as a motherfucking animal so for bulking carbs man definitely carbs is your best friend i prefer white rice at all although white rice just uh gives me some sort of bloated stomach but white rice is just really fast absorbing. It's much more easier to eat for me personally. So when you're bulking, it's just carbs. I eat like six to 700 grams of carbs every day. Uh, I get really full and I'm still gaining weight and I'm doing the same thing. I'm not eating more. Uh, I am eating six meals uh, per day. So around every three hours, like I said. All right, so what if you wanna cut down? You wanna lose weight, you wanna shred some fat want to compete or whatever then calories might be really handy um, but it's really hard to find out how much calories a person actually needs so in this case i would personally just still eat every three hours although i would just skip carbs so if i'm cutting down i would just eat carbs in my breakfast in my pre-workout meal and my post-workout meal now for the rest of the day no carbs still every three hours so i would eat like then I would eat like 300 grams of chicken, maybe 350 grams to replace the carbs that I'm not eating. I would I would add fats, you know, really important fats and uh, vegetables and fruits and stuff. So how much would you eat on cycle? Well, I can't really give you an exact answer because calories are not for everyone. Uh, I really believed in calories, like I said, but at some point I realized that it wasn't important. The most important thing was fueling your body. Uh, listening to your body's needs so if you want to bulk up every three hours if you want to cut down eat every three hours it just depends on what you're eating if you want to bulk up carbs are your best friend if you want to lean bulk carbs are your best friend as well so if i if i would be eating 100 grams of carbs each meal right now and i wanted to lean bulk then i would just take uh, 75 grams of carbs each meal for cutting down no carbs only just fueling your workout so breakfast pre-workout meal post-workout meal and trust me guys even when you're on cycle and your metabolism is so fast and you shred fat like instantly it's not really uh convenient to start eating mcdonald's every day because trust me the food you put in your body are the results you are going to get so it's best to eat clean proper food white rice white fish eat some steak every every day eat some uh beef every day you know just make sure your food intake is really balanced and not just as a bodybuilder or fitness enthusiast but overall for health and longevity so the tip of the day never skip a meal all right because meals are the most important thing for your body you could work out like a beast in the gym i see people work out in the gym for three hours okay and they just eat three meals per day 
how in the hell you're going to fuel your workout maybe you got energy enough to do the workout but you probably won't build muscle you might even ruin muscle all the muscle you worked really really hard for in past years there is no performance enhancing drugs in the world that will get you big and swole as fuck if you're not eating right all right so yeah you could be eating a mcdonald's post-workout that's because your body needs the glycogen and the sugars and the fats but at the end it's still mcdonald's it's still fucking fat if you eat it like twice per day you no know, the gains will be fatty uh watery you know, depending on the goal but that's not what i personally want i would want a lean bulk at least trying to add as much muscle as possible but trying to stay somewhat leaner all right so how much should you eat on cycle SARM, steroids peptides whatever just eat so much that you're uncomfortable eating is the freaking hardest part in the entire bodybuilding world okay it's not working out this, this is not hard it's the fun part okay you gotta eat you gotta eat you gotta eat eat big to get big all right People don't say that for a goddamn reason. All right, so that was it for today's video, guys. Thanks a whole lot for watching again. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and drop a comment. Uh, I'll be doing more videos very, very, very soon. So that was it for today's video. Like I said, guys, I am out.